Are you looking to cut some corners and save some time in your plant-based kitchen? Boy, do we have five kitchen hacks that you're not gonna wanna miss. Here we go. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. And this is Reeves. You know I'm all about helping you save time in the kitchen and sometimes it's just those little hacks that save that extra bit of time. When you have to cook every single meal yourself, the hacks add up. Yep. That time savings is real. It's like days of your life. Or more. more. Probably more. Probably months. Well, we're about to tell you our top five kitchen hacks that you cannot miss. This is part two. We did part one. We're doing part two. And let us know your favorites down below. Shall we get started? Yeah, we should. Let's, Let's just it. get into it. Number one is to clean your kitchen tools such as your blender right away while they're still nice and wet. My pet peeve in the kitchen is grabbing onto something and having it crusty and like a dirty blender where you have to like get in with the brush and brush that thing around or like the garlic mincer that's all clogged up. Whisks, if you leave a whisk, how are you gonna get all that crud off of every one of those little spokes? Am I right? <laughs> it's a nightmare. <laughs> Unless you want to do an archaeological dig later, exactly. that's going to take three times as long. Please, this is a public service announcement and a kitchen hack. Number two is a favorite of mine, and it's to skip the saute step if you're in a hurry, or just every time if you really want to. You're going to especially want to do this in instant pot meals. I've never done the saute step, but also any one pot meal on the stove in your Dutch oven, soups, stews, our Irish stew, chili. Yeah, there are so many of our recipes that you can just skip that step, throw everything in the pot, fire it up, and you're done. You know, a lot of really chefy chefs, this is not me, are like, oh, you gotta saute just this way to get just the right texture, just the right caramelization. When you're eating every meal home cooked, you don't care about that anymore. If you wanna save some time, so often you can just completely skip that step. Number three is so important to me, get yourself a garlic rock. This is the fastest, simplest way to peel garlic in history. My mother taught me this trick. A nice heavy rock with a flat bottom. This is the one I've been using using for years, but I recently went to the beach and found a bunch of others. Anything that's big with a nice flat side, you can just smash the garlic and then the peel just falls right off the clove. It's the most perfect thing. We've had so many people email us pictures of their garlic rocks. Number four is to eat meals deconstructed, like a sushi bowl or a burrito bowl. Build your own rice bowl. I love eating this way. Why assemble? The flavor goes into your mouth anyway. You're gonna get the same enjoyment out of it. I couldn't have said it better. You were the one who introduced me to deconstructed like a sushi bowl and I was like, wow, I'm never rolling sushi again. Mm -hmm. I have all the flavors in much larger portions and better ratios in my opinion. So I can get lots more starch, lots more edamame or whatever have you. Anything you can just assemble really quickly is such a nice meal. You made me a deconstructed lasagna with my world marinara. Well, what did we do? You just took pasta, marinara, and then put a dollop on top of some homemade ricotta. Number five is pre-bashing your grains and dry items in a mason jar like this. There are a lot of recipes that we make and many others I'm sure you've come across where you could pre-batch your spices, some of your starches. This one has some red lentils in there and some wild rice. This is actually the jar that I use for our ziti recipe that I make in the Instant Pot. Could be maybe a quart size jar instead of this little pint size jar like for our Instant Pot doll that uses a couple cups of red lentils, yeah. all those Indian spices. You could have all that ready. Also the homemade gifter in me loves to give this as a gift <laughs> You can just, yeah, you can just tie a little. <laughs> You've seen where people will give you like the homemade cookies in a jar and they usually have brown sugar and unhealthy stuff. But what about something like this and a little tag that says baked CD recipe. Our bonus today is Well Your World products and I'm talking specifically about the bottled sauces and dressings or the marinara because they save so much time in those deconstructed bowls. The deconstructed lasagna I was talking about. I mean, it's one less thing you have to make and a sauce makes a meal. A sauce makes a meal. Reheat some rice, throw on some sauteed veggies, put on a little bit of Indian or Asian sauce to add the flavor and the sauciness and the meal is complete. It took minutes. Y'all, if you like this video, please comment down below with some of your own favorite kitchen hacks and we will make them in another video. Check out right here for more videos like this one. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.